We are going to do a shift pattern tune and review for the Challenger SR2 Superstock. We'll show you a maxed out shift pattern and tune. We'll show you a stage five only shift and tune. And then we're going to do a live racing setup and a review on the car. So let's get to it. When you have the car 100% maxed out with all the stage six parts and all the fusions, this is how you're going to tune it. Nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive is going to be on 2.0 and tire pressure on 8 PSI. That will give us a 8.059 on the dyno. Huge shout out to YouTuber Nitro for CSR. There's a link to his channel in this video's description. To drive this car, you wanna let go of the gas right about number one. The needle should kick back, which is very, very hard to get it to do. Right after launch, shift in the second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And I shifted in one of those gears just a little bit early. Make sure all the shifts are right before the red line and you will get a very, very good time. There we got a 7.9. It looks like 7.903 was the fastest recorded time on this car so far. So the car can beat the dyno time by a teeny bit, but really nothing too crazy. So that's how you do it when it's maxed out. Let's go ahead and put the car back to stage five and do a stage five shift pattern and tune. So when you have all the stage five parts installed with all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.0 and tire pressures are going to be on eight PSI. That will give us a dyno time of a 9.379 9.379 we're going to drive this one the exact same way let go of the gas just a tad bit after number one the needle should kick back shortly after you launch shift into second hit your nitrous and all the rest of the shifts right before the red line three two one go second nitrous third fourth fifth six seventh gear eighth gear and for some reason i don't hear any car sounds i don't know if you guys can hear the game sounds or not i definitely hope you can but if not i don't know what i did anyways then we got a 9.275 which is not bad for stage five i think that just beat the dyno by about a tenth of a second which is actually pretty darn good Let's go and set this bad boy up for live racing. These are the parts you're going to want to install. You're going to have your engine on stock, turbo on stage three, intake stage three, nitrous stage five, body stage three, tires stage three, transmission stage five. To tune it, nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive, 2.0, tire pressure, 9 PSI with a 2 and a 98. And that's going to get us a 10.786, but we're going to be trying to run 10.8. You do need to get the needle to kick back, so basically we're going to try and get our start. So the needle kicks back right after you launch. Let go just a tad bit after number one. The needle kicks back, hit nitrous on second gear. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. And this car does depend on getting that needle to kick back. If you do not get the needle to kick back, it's not going to run the right time, unfortunately. So it is going to be very hard to live race this car, but there we ran a 10.750. We want to stick in the 10.8 lobbies, but if you get it right, that's how it will work. Let's go ahead and do a little review on this thing. So first off, it's got pretty good top speed. It can hit like 390 some miles per hour, which is very good. It can hit 0 to 60 in a little over 1 second. 0 to 100 in about 1.7 something. And if you get everything just right, it's going to run about a 7.9. So the car does have pretty decent stats overall. I mean, it's a little bit slow, but it does beat Dino by a little bit on stage 5. It beats Dino by a little bit on stage 6. There's a tune that technically should work pretty well for live racing. I mean, seems like an okay car. It's definitely not going to be the best car in the game or anything like that. But, you know, it's kind of halfway decent, I suppose. I mean, not a great car, but hey, you might be able to win a few live races. I don't expect it to be the world's best live racer because it's going to be very, very hard to do a manual launch and get that needle to kick back. I think that's going to cause a lot of people a lot of problems trying to live race with this one, honestly. So it's probably not really going to be the ideal live race here because of that. But, you know, it, it can do it if you're good enough to shift it like that and get that needle to kick back. 
But I think that's pretty much it for the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of CSR2 content. There's way more where that came from. If you need to learn about the game, go to my channel, scroll down. We got playlists that cover just about everything on the channel. If you drop down the video's description, you'll find my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server, some game info, um, some affiliate links. If you need some awesome audio gear like a new camera or, you know, lighting or microphone for your podcast or YouTube, we got you covered. There's some affiliate links down there, plus some audio plugins. But I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. See ya.